Now the bit I really wanted to show you is we're in an 80 kilometer an hour zone here um, but the bit I really wanted to show you was uh, the self-steering system. Now the car knows where the white lines are and I can be sure of that because right here on the dashboard there is two green lines that tells me the car knows what's going on. Okay, so without further ado, it's a big nice wide road here that, that, uh, that I'm on. Uh, and currently there's no traffic coming and we have uh, oh, there is traffic coming and we have a nice little turn so I'm just going to take my hands lightly off the steering wheel so I'm still touching it but not steering so right now the car is steering through that corner okay you can see the car making small adjustments here to the steering wheel and making small adjustments where the white line is so I, I have to keep an eye on it but it's doing it it's definitely doing it okay um, now there's a car pulling up in front of us of course and that means we're slowing down because that car is right there we're still in an 80km an hour zone and directly ahead of me right now is a roundabout now this car has no clue what direction I'm going to take at a roundabout I have not set a sat nav here of any kind I haven't done anything like that it doesn't know what I'm going to do but I'm still confident that this car will slow me down to go around the roundabout it has nothing to do with that car in front the car knows I'm on a roundabout so I'm going to indicate to give it some indication which way I'm going you can see the car is not accelerating it's maintaining its speed through the roundabout I'm not interfering here I'm just steering and we're leaving isn't that amazing what it just did now we're moving into a hundred km an hour zone which is right ahead here and the car is accelerating accordingly and here we go again so once again this car is now driving itself okay basically now I'm steering, so I'm holding the steering wheel, but if I take my hands away from the steering wheel, the car will continue to drive itself. If I don't interfere, so my hands are just a millimetre off the steering wheel, we're following that truck at the right speed. We reach the corner here, so there's a turn coming up right now, a proper turn coming up right now. We're not following the truck, we're following the white lines. You can see the steering has minor adjustments on it to keep us between the white lines. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so we're coming up to a roundabout. We just entered the 60 km an hour zone. Um, and the car has slow, is slowing down, as you can see. There's a 60 km an hour zone just in front of us. It's about to enter right now. So the car is slowing to 60, but also ahead is a roundabout. So the car knows that the roundabout is there. Now, it doesn't know what direction they're going to take, but you can see on the little map in the front, I made the map full size, you can see on the map there that the roundabout is clearly marked on it, right? So it knows the roundabout exists, and it's bringing me to a, to a halt. I'm not interfering. It's just bringing me to a halt there, just slowing down, enough that I can compensate for any parts of the corner here. We get out the other side, and we're entering into an 80 km an hour zone right now. The car respects that, and starts to accelerate up to 80. Now, again, there is another series of roundabouts in front here. There's no cars, it's not following a car, there's nothing in front of me, nothing at all. Let's just see. <laughs> this could get very risky if it doesn't know the roundabouts there. Oh, it's slowing, it's slowing. I can feel brakes come on, I can feel the car braking. Again, it doesn't know what junction I'm gonna pick in a roundabout. I'm going straight through, it's slowed to 26 kilometers an hour. 28, 29, 28, 30, 31. It knows I've left that roundabout. There's only one exit in this roundabout. This is just a single one to get you onto a motorway. So it's slow it again. Look, it's dropped down 36, 32, 28, 25. That's mad. It's keeping my speed perfectly. I have no feet on the pedals, none turn off here we're entering 120 km an hour zone which is motorway speeds I see that's popped up on the screen for me now the car is beginning to accelerate you see the little red arrow that's gone up to the top corner here which is where the speed limit is we're coming out on the motorway we're joining traffic now 93 98 99 100 indicating to pull into the lane one and now we're sitting at 120, nearly 116. Anyway, if you like what you see on this channel, make sure you subscribe and you can give money to me on Patreon. Um, it's patreon.com forward slash the next gear. So patreon.com forward slash the next gear. Please give whatever you can to keep this channel as independent as possible.
possible. None of this was sponsored by Audi. I do not get any money from any car company to make these videos. Nothing. So, give us a bit of uh, money so I can stay independent for as long as it's humanly possible because I don't have any advertisers. But anyway, until the next time, I will see you on the far side.